Hello. Today we are going to deploy ORDS in Apache Tomcat. You know, in last two videos we have uh, installed Oracle Apex in embedded PLSQL mode and then we deployed Oracle Apex in Oracle REST data service as standalone mode. Now, today we are going to deploy Oracle REST data service in Apache Tomcat. Uh, why we are going to do this? Apache Tomcat is a web server and it is a uh, widespread, widely used web server and Oracle has provided uh, facilities to deploy Oracle REST data service in Apache Tomcat also. But uh, in standalone mode, uh, you should not uh, you should not uh, deploy Oracle REST data service standalone mode in production uh, production environment. You sh must deploy it in some web server like Apache Tomcat or uh, Oracle Glass Glassfish server. In this installation, in this uh, video, I have demonstrated how to uh, deploy Oracle Apex in Oracle uh, Apex through ORDS in the Apache Tomcat. Now, uh, let's begin with deployment of Oracle uh, 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 deployment of Apache Tomcat server. Uh, you see, Apache Tomcat server is here. It's not running right now. It's not running. Mm. Let's move where we are right now. CD. Uh, we are into PWT. We are into Apache Tomcat 9. Okay. Now let's begin with Apache for the con con Let's see. Conf directory cd conf ls list bi server dot xml let's see server dot xml see here we have changed uh, the port number to 8888 because you know by default it is 8080 but in our installation in previous installation we have uh, allocated 8080 for uh, embedded PLSQL gateway deployment of Apex and then 8081 for Oracle REST data service standalone deployment of Apex. Now if I uh, keep the default 8080, it will conflict the other uh, port. And this is uh, all important change I have done, nothing else. Now what you have to, you have to do is you have to move to bin, bin directory. Now let's see what is in the bin. You see Catalina.sh. This is a file uh, for the very first time when you uh, unzip Apache Tomcat. These files are not executable. In the is are not in executable uh, state. Then you must make it executable through ch mode plus x Catalina.sh. Okay. You have to do this and then uh, startup startup.sh. You have to this command and then you must do it. 
shutdown dot sh c ch mode plus x means these becomes executable but if you do not do this you cannot run this now uh, our apache is shut down uh, so we have to run, uh, start up first st start startup dot sh apache is started let's see what is the view of apache here it is apache is starting started up and running now what we have to do is very simple see we already configured over ds yesterday last uh, video we have shown now we will go to that ords folder ords folder see here is the ords dot war file and also cd will cd apex images these are the images files we will copy to uh, we will deploy these images to apache and also that ords to apache now first let's see uh, what about our database is, it, is our database running SQL plus SQL plus S sorry S CCDA database is not running so, so we first must start up the database start up simple command it will take a, a few moments mounted database open now what uh, you have to do you have to uh, start up the listeners ls and rctl start that's it uh, what is that already started okay listener is already started the listener is running now i'll check if uh, i can uh, access oracle apex through etg embedded plsql gateway 192 this is the apex location apex is running this is with embedded plsql gateway now i will uh, start up what this so that cd tmp ords ls okay now what i am going to do java jar dot war okay uh, it is started now what is the URL for what this deployment is this one okay this is the this apex and this apex are same but you know I am running apex with this one is through embedded PLSQL gateway and this one through what DS standalone mode now what we will do is we will start up uh, we will deploy what DS in Apache so that I can run like this or DS 
okay it's not running right now because we haven't uh, deployed it yet now i want to uh, have access to the apex through this url okay this one is running this one is running this is AP, apg this is ords standalone and this is ords uh, in apache tomcat now what we have to do is you have to let's open another uh, put session so that I can work okay now you have to do you have to copy CP ORDS dot war to home Oracle TMP Apache Apache web webs you can copy it now we have to copy all important images from a folder cd 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 apex cd apex now what you have to do cp minus r images to where home oracle tmp Apache Apache OEX I this all the content of images will be copied to I folder of OEX in Apache okay copy it let's see what about the content of cd i okay ls all the images are copied now you see images are copied war file is deployed now what you have to do is simply go to bean directory of apache and now start up start up the no, it, it's already started up so you have to shut down shut down as it is shut down now you have to start up start up it, uh, it has started up now let's see the apache apache is running now let's see if ords is running okay ords is started This one is EPG, this one is ORDS standalone, and this one is ORDS through Apache Tomcat. The same Apex, same database, same information, but deployed in three different ways. Thank you for watching. Thank you, everybody.